And here you go. This is just a PVC pipe. What's going on everybody? Rob here, aka Trip 2323. You see this? Do you know what this is? This is an auger. It's like for uh, for planting tulips or planting bulbs. I'm trying to find an area that I'm not using to show you. So this right here is to plant bulbs. To put your to put your I didn't even get to show you that. Let's do it over here. You gotta go slow because if you go too fast, it throws out so much dirt. Then you can put your bulb right in there. That came right off. All right, but I only used it one time. I only used it one time for bulbs, and I did use I did use this for my um, the heck is it my uh, my worm composter when I was just starting to move some of the dirt in the bottom. But I just really hate disturbing the worms that much. I used that one also to roll them around, but my worms are chugging along. Watch my worm castle pine composting video, but video. Haha. <laughs> what we are gonna do today is we are going to turn this right here this auger i paid either between 9.99 or 14.99 for this auger we are going to turn this into a mortar mixer for a bucket because as you can see i cannot use this for a mortar mixer because all it will do is make a hole in the bucket so there's a weld right here they got to cut off i got to make this bend it back up to make it a perfect circle around here and then cut and grind off the top of this and then it'll sit flat on the bucket to mix the mortar because when you're mixing mortar the color it takes so long to get that color mixed in so they sell similar to this although there's a little metal handle to here so it can spin and you can hold it that i'm going to make myself but these are a hundred dollars to make these so we're going to make it ourselves right here and this was either between 9.99 and 14.99 This right here is a metal cutter, metal, see, on the angle grinder. I didn't bring my, see if I can turn it. I always keep the protector on and wear your glasses. Try and get a good angle to cut that weld. I have you in the picture, put my glasses down. took some of that off right here so let's see what we got right here should have bought pliers I brought a hammer with me well you're on my uh, anvil right here so let me see if I got enough to get that uh, broken off and down right here let's see what can I put This is this is it's pretty heavy. All right, so I gotta get this right here, this part, because I want to try to make this bottom part a circle. So we're gonna see what it's gonna take to get that. It don't look like it's welded in anymore. So I gotta do start bending this down and working this. But this metal is actually strong. This is going up a little bit, adding it closer to here so I can tack weld it now. Alright, 
close enough for government standards. I'm gonna string that across right now to tack weld it. I had to clean it up first. All right, I'm gonna have to build a bridge across since it's such a big gap right here. So I'm gonna put a tack right here, just one at a time, tack, 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 and build off of each other so I can I'm a grinder, not a welder. I'm gonna clean all this up with an angle grinder, look brand new. As long as it's in place where it's not gonna move, we'll see. I put it on the drill. I'm actually not mixing mortar right now, so probably tomorrow we'll get the rest of the video. And then this is for here. To mix the mortar around. not cutting through the bottom of the bucket all right we'll mix some mortar tomorrow with this and here you go this is just a PVC pipe of course I'm gonna use my electric one tomorrow DIY bucket mortar mixer for safe 15 bucks to be on the safe side. That was actually a tulip uh, planter. All right, it's time to use our homemade drill with the, this is the tulip auger. Here's some mortar, here's some color. I don't want to carry an 80 pound bag. I'm gonna tuck point over there, but this is just about this mixer thingy right here. All right, you don't find this too much anymore, the liquid. Now all you find is the powder. I'll put some of this in here. Some of that in there now I, that i could probably mix it around without this mixer because i don't know if this mixer is going to be able to do that's really shallow Let's put them backwards last two cups that are actually going to finish it off and ready. What do you think? One or two more cups? That's real sticky. Alright, I'm going to scrape everything down. One more cup. Alright, that's where I want it. A little bit thin, but that's where I want it. We'll check it out. Now I mixed it again. But like I said, do not add water to that. If you add water, you're gonna mess with your color. 